okay guys so this is a very simple approach which you can use you can apply to analyze um, all pairs both volatility pairs and boom and crash pairs but in today's video i'll be um, basically um, using volatility 75 1s index to demonstrate it all right so the first thing we do like you've always seen in my videos we go to the higher time frame to mark out key levels and look for what we can join points to form trend lines so we go to we are on the weekly time frame right now so i'll put my sorry i don't need this for now i need a horizontal line to mark out the key levels in the market like now this is a key level right here in this market this is a key level right here why is this a key level you can see there's been buys and sells along this level here in this particular market there's been buys and sells let me be sure i've positioned it properly All right, so you can see there's been buys and sells in this um, at this particular level here. You you know, I hope you know that this doesn't mean that it is actually at this point. It is a zone. You can use a rectangle to mark this. I don't like using a rectangle on higher time frames because it will take a whole large area and the charge when you get to a lower time frame. So within this zone, market has been buying and selling. So we say this is a key level in the market. All right, so we look for another key level still on the same time frame. But basically, my time, my key levels are usually ones. The, I mean, the ones that are closer to the current price. As you can see this is a current price in the market at this time. So we we'll look for key levels that are close to this current price because if we want to mark out all the key levels on this particular time frame, then there are some levels that the market might never reach even in the next six months. So we look for the ones that are closer to the market, and let's just duplicate this particular line then we'll fix it some way here like this right here this is another key level in the market this is another key level here right here in the market why is this a key level too you can see the buys and the sell along these levels you can see the market bought from here market also um, bought from here market bought from here market also sold and bought around this level too so this is another key level in this market so now the next thing i think there's another key level somewhere here there's another key level somewhere here but it's not too clear maybe that will be identified on um the daily on a lower time frame might be well identified on a lower time frame then we can go down to the one hourly time from the four hourly sorry daily time frame all right so on the daily time frame we'll have to zoom out a little bit because at, at most, in most in most cases you need to zoom out so you can see the chart clearly you can see the levels clearly where you will have to join your um to place your horizontal lines so on the daily time frame you can see that there's a key level let me just duplicate this you can see there's a key level around this point hold on All right, so there is a key level around the very close to the current price, and you can see the market bought and sold along this particular key level. So you can see market bought from this point, although it is zoomed out, you can still see it clearly. Market bought here, sold here, bought here, and so sold here. Market also bought here, sold here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Market sold from here. You see sold from here try to buy from here you can see market bought from here bought from here and bought from here multiple times so this is a key level guys on the daily time frame most i like changing the color of the key levels as i progress i like changing the color so i can easily differentiate them then we can look for another key level still close to the current price Another key level still close to the current current price. So I might duplicate this, then have to bring it somewhere here. This is a key level, guys. You can see how market bought and sold along this level here. Market sold from here, sold from here, bought from here, bought from here. Market sold from here, and also sold from this point too. So this is a key level as well on this market, guys so on the daily time frame so we take note of that then also i have noticed something here guys 
I, if I zoom out, uh, I can see that there was a trend. Yeah, the market was basically in an uptrend, and the uptrend was broken. Look at what I'm saying right here, guys. You can see the market was actually in an uptrend, which was broken. This uptrend was broken, guys. You can see here. So the market was actually in an uptrend, which was broken. And because the uptrend has, has been broken on the daily time frame, I think it's even visible also on the on the weekly time frame. So the, it broke out at this point. Market broke out at this point, came back, came back, and the market is even forming. It came back and retested at this. You see, retested it, came down, came back, retested it again. So we expect the market to still continue selling. That's my view on the market. But meanwhile, you can also confirm that the market is trying to form another ascending channel at this point. So look at this. See what I see here. With this, it makes us to see that the market is trying to form an ascending channel. And what, what does an ascending, ch ascending channel signify? It signifies the possible uh, reversal of the market. So there's a chance that the market might would come down right here and break through this a resist a supportive trend line right here and then maybe retest and sell nicely to the downside and continue selling nicely to the downside but mind you we are still on the daily time frame so it makes us to be more concerned about sales opportunities when we go down to a lower time frame than the higher than them buying opportunities all right so we still go that i think we need to adjust these trend lines a little bit because of so many points Yes, this horizontal line. You see, all right. So we go to the four early time frame. Let's go to the four early time frame. On the four early time frame, what do I do? We have any K level around close to the current price? Let's see. Let me zoom out so I can see clearly. All right. Uh, let me get a horizontal line. Let me get the horizontal line. You can see that is a key level, guys, on the four hourly time frame. That is a key level. Market market bought and sold at that uh, on getting to that level. Market has been buying and selling on getting to that level. Let me change the color. Let me change the color quickly. I'll change the color and we will use this as the color to indicate that. Now I'll look for another one below. I think there is another key level right here below. Don't mind how the chart looks um, um, dirty with lines. I'll remove them. I have a reason for putting them there, which I will explain before the end of this video. Then if I zoom out, uh, zoom in, you can see this on the four hourly time frame. And if we go down to the one hourly time frame, you can still see that all these little spaces we have between lines are very big spaces. And besides, since I am not a swing trader, I need to do this till I get to 15 minutes time frame or uh, when I will, which is my entry time frame. 15 minutes, which is my entry time frame. All right, so on the one early time frame, guys, now you can see that the market has been, one moment, please. As you adjust, as you progress down the time frame, you must always check if there is need for an adjustment on your lines in your markups or right, as you can see the market on the one early time frame had been bullish for some days like what we've seen here market has been bullish then as it got to this top and this is the um, daily supportive trend line which turned resistance trend line here and on getting to this to this line see what it see what it formed it formed a strong reversal pattern Markets formed a strong reversal pattern here, which is the head and shoulders pattern. You can see the left shoulder here, the right, or the head and the right shoulder, which indicates a very strong reversal in the market. The market is coming down. The market will be selling. You see, it broke through this neckline and still came back to retest this neckline at this point. You see, this is a clear retest of the neckline at this point. Then the market continued selling. Went up again, continued selling up to this point now in the market guys and um, from my observation i can also see that i can also see that the market was somewhat resting on another trend line like see what's happening here see what is happening here 
you see the market was actually moving let me take out this line first and do a little explanation the based on my own the strategy i usually use in entering the market so the market was moving impulsively up to this level then it started giving a kind of a corrective impulse before moving up so now I'm joining these points here now coincides with a point which you will see as i draw the line now you will see that it coincides with this particular point here you can see this shows that the market was resting on this particular trend line this trend wall this trend line is a kind of a, a support to it so now but unfortunately the trend line has been broken broken and now retested this tries to confirm the same idea that the market will be bullish so what that and a retest the market will continue in its bearish direction so we expect the market to be bearish and you will see this more clearly if you go to the the lower time frame like the 15 minutes time frame which is my entry time frame let me go to 15 minutes time frame guys so you can see a clear retest on this you can see this retest at this point which the market i believe after retesting and with a good confirmation the market will be selling and will be targeting the daily time frame resistive sorry supportive trend line which we drew or a daily time frame key level which we drew down far below there not this black one here there's another one down maybe this even this um purple colored line here a gray um, gold colored line um key level the market might be targeting it because it is in a strong downtrend the market is in a strong downtrend so that is that is the way we look at it uh, look at the market guys that is the same the very simple way you can analyze the market you can take off most of these lines if after doing because we market may not easily come back to this place you can just remove them you can just remove them so your your chart will look a bit neat you know then you focus on what you uh we're looking out for like right now the market has broken as out um broken out of this trend line and it is retesting and we are expecting it to continue to sell so with time it will still go down then break through this black line here which is uh, i think that was that was a daily time frame key level or one early time or four early time frame and you just remove it and just keep keep on marking out where the market is approaching the current um where the where the, uh, you find key levels close to the current price at that time so it's a very simple approach guys just mark out your key levels from while doing your top-down analysis from the weekly time frame or even on the daily time frame then you try to look for swing points to uh, place your trend line look for swing points place your trend line wait for a breakout and a retest either on the key level or on the um, trend lines then after a good confirmation you can go into trade and target the next low or the high depending on the direction of the market at that time this strategy works for all bank crash pairs it works for all volatility pairs even currency pairs this strategy also works all it requires is patience because you might be waiting for a very long time for the market to start making a u-turn you know if you can always wait for the market to if if maybe you open the chart and you discover the market or a particular pair has been traveling in a, a direction for some time and maybe you are not sure of how to enter to continue um, in the trend continuation you can just wait for a market to get to where it will, it will reverse then you enter very early then you can sell or buy nicely with peace of mind you know so most times it just requires patience not just a strategy alone in fact patience also it's a strategy patience is a strategy you need to practice patience and then you know if you know you are not too good at maybe you are finding it difficult to watch these videos and understanding these um you know um strategies it is better you get to get somebody who will guide you get a mentor get a coach pay for knowledge guys pay for knowledge forget about all these free videos you are seeing you are getting half baked information if you pay for knowledge you know more you learn more maybe you'll be more serious than what you do right now guys so there's a link in the description of this video which um, takes you to my free telegram channel where i mostly post updates on our upcoming events or maybe sometimes i can drop um high probability um chat setups setups on the on the on that channel so if you are here to join that channel please go ahead and join on that channel 
And if you would want to enroll on my mentorship program, guys, do not hesitate. Just come in, but make sure you are ready to, to be taught because I teach and I want my students to always be active. You know, I ask you to do something and you do it and I confirm. Not just, I'm not more interested in your money. I need your money, but not interested like once you are, you've paid the money, I'll just upload a video for you to watch. No, I do live trainings. I do live trainings. I don't have pre-recorded videos for mentorship. We do live trainings so I can talk to you. You hear, you hear me and you talk to me. You ask questions. You have issues. You send me messages on my DM. Then we, I help you to solve it. Guys, so if you know that is what you want, then you need to contact me. And for my mentees, they know what happens. Once you are my mentee, there's an opportunity for you to get an online legitimate job. A legitimate job, job online. I've been working online for the past five years. Uh, in fact, about 99% of the money I've made for the past five years has been from, uh, from the internet. Doing jobs, doing jobs and also trading a bit, you know. So I, I implore you, go down to that channel. Uh, to that to the description of this video click on that link join the channel if you are interested in the mentorship you will see my contact there so you can chat with me directly then i will then i will cue you in on how to with all the information you need to so be, to be successful in trading or to be in my mentorship um, class so guys um please like this video share it and um invite your friends to this channel you know i want to see everybody succeed as i have Deliver this information for free. Try to invite others to also come and see it, guys. Don't be selfish. Invite them to come and see. Share it to them. Let them watch this video. They will benefit from it like you have because I believe you've gained a little value, at least a little value from this video. So without wasting much of your time, I would uh, want to say till my next video, peace out.